Hey there! Today I wanted to share a few tips on procedural texturing in Odini, showing up this simple project. So the first challenge I had was on how to project decals or logos similar to Maya's planner projection feature. So in SOPS I created a very simple HDA that uses a UV planner projection, which allows me to control the position of the decal and it also creates a proximity based mask so the texture doesn't show up in the back of the model. As you can see it's just a point in the same position of the planar projection and transferring an attribute to the geometry. I'll share this HDA on Patreon along with the full scene, that way you can also see how, how I've modeled the cup and simulated the fries. So in Solaris I am first controlling the scale with the place to d node, loading the texture, making sure I set the address mode to constant so the texture doesn't tile. Then multiplying the alpha with the mask from SOPS, again so it doesn't repeat on the back as you can see here, since I've just done a planar projection. And then using the mask as a mixing factor to combine the texture and the red in background. I also have a final detail on the cup where I'm placing this line along the top, which I've accomplished with a primitive attribute to get the desired sharpness. So this is the attribute as you can see, I, have, I had no idea on how to do this in a procedural texture based way, so I've just modeled the detail into the final geometry. Since I had some edge groups from the modeling, I extracted the side ones and created the normals along the curves, then transferred them to the top edge curve, this way I can pick it along the shape. From there I am resampling to make it smoother, duplicating the curve with the sweep and the ugly part, a boolean set to shutter mode, and finally created the attribute with the resulting group. Again, not the most elegant way, but I would love to hear your ideas on the comments below. Now let's quickly have a look at the fries shader. First in the albedo I have a mix of colors and noises to create some variation. In the first part a mix between orange and yellow controlled by a whirly noise, then using another noise to mix the main yellow shades and the other mix of colors. For the displacement using the unified noise, but distorting it a bit with a fractal by adding it to the position just like in VOPS. I duplicated the noise and changed the frequency and type and added them together while remapping it to fit the displacement range I needed. I am also adding some bump to it, a distorted noise. So the final shader, I am using the yellow color mix for both albedo and subsurface, which is set to a small scale, this will always depend on the size of your scene of course. So yeah, that's basically it, nothing too impressive, but I thought that this might be useful to you, let me know. Don't forget you can grab the full scene on Patreon, and thank you for watching, see you in the next one.